Hey guys, I'm Karan Binani from MobiScript and I'm not here to talk about how good the Galaxy Note 8 is. You probably know all about it already. So I'm gonna get right into things that you don't know about. First one is Instant Dark Mode. A simple key combination can turn your phone into a dark theme mode so that you can read better in low light or at night. It strains your eyes a lot lesser and it looks really good. You know, on apps like email, Samsung Notes, SMS, etc. The only downside is that it won't work very well with apps that have images because it completely changes their colors to their negatives and that's really horrifying when it comes to pictures or videos on Instagram. To activate this, you just have to go into settings, accessibility and then look for direct access. Make sure you enable negative colors only of all of the other ones and the combination is very simple. It's power button with volume up. The second one is changing your vibration pattern. These days, most of us like to keep our phones on vibrate because we get bombarded with so many notifications, but sometimes we miss them because of short vibrations. You can actually change that to have more aggressive type of vibrations. So go into sound and vibration settings and then look for vibration pattern. Now you could try all of these and see which one you think is the buzziest and you could keep that to ensure uh, you don't miss out onto those notifications. The next one again has to do with sound and vibration settings. You could go into separate app sound, okay, which essentially allows you to play something on your Bluetooth or your device and something else on your headphones or your phone audio. So I can use my music app to play a playlist on my you know, let's say my Bluetooth connected speakers that are right behind the phone, you know, so I could use Spotify that's playing music onto my, uh, my Bose speakers over there. But at the same time, I could plug in my headphones and play YouTube on my phone. That's, that's quite nice. The next one is notification reminder and it's as simple as it sounds. You can enable a notification to appear again in case you haven't attended to that notification. And, you know, if you're one of those people who really keep missing out on the notifications, this is surely a way to never miss that out. So you could set up a reminder interval that a notification come back to you in a couple of minutes. The next one is about blocking accidental touches. If you have a simple swipe to unlock screen, chances are that you might end up unlocking your screen in your pocket and then have a pocket dial or unintended gibberish messages going out and so on. To avoid that, just go into display settings and then enable block accidental touches. Coming to the sixth one. Finally, you don't need an app to clone your messaging apps in case you want to use two of them on the same smartphone. Samsung allows you to do this natively by using this setting called Dual Messenger. So you can just go here and when you have compatible apps, those would show up over here that allow you to create duplicates of. And you can have two WhatsApp accounts or two Messenger accounts on the same smartphone. So finally, you know, that whole a couple of things that you had to do with strings that you had to pull to have two WhatsApps running. You don't have to do that anymore. And anyway, this is a dual SIM device, so it's anyway a lot easier to do to set up on this one. Coming on to the next one, security is important at all times, but when you're home, then your smartphone can be programmed to be lock free automatically. To do that, just go into smart lock and then set it up so that your Note 8 can understand that you are in a safe zone and screen lock can be bypassed. There are a couple of ways to do that. First is your phone knows that it's with you. So it keeps tracking its proximity to your body and keeps it unlocked for that time. Second is when it detects you are in a trusted zone, either by using location or you know something else. And let's say that you're in your car and when it connects to your car or your Bluetooth, then you, it knows it's with you. So you don't have to have your fingerprint and iris scanner and pattern and pin. The next one is about setting up your secure folder. So this is the place where you hide or where, where the, you know, where you keep your private stuff so that no one else can see, even if they have your phone. And to do that, you go into lock screen settings and then set it up, right? For this, you need to have your own Samsung account. Uh, you set that up and then you have to have to have a pin or a pattern or a password to protect this um, secure folder. And let's say I'm just going to set that up real quick and come back. Yeah, so you can add your files here. You can keep your apps secure. So it's really easy that way. So for example, let's say I have this video. It has nothing that I need to really hide it for. But anyway, uh, let's move it to secure folder. It's going to ask for either my pin or biometrics. And I'm just going to give it my uh, through my fingerprint sensor. And there you go. This file has been moved to my secure folder. It's gone. 
Now to access that, I go into my app drawer and I look for secure folder. When I tap on it, again, it's gonna ask for my pin or biometrics. So, and I open my gallery, the video is right there. Now your lock screen is capable of showing a lot more information so that you don't have to always unlock your screen. Also, it looks really good. So if you want to see your schedule for the next day or your alarms or your music player controls in the lock screen itself, you can pretty much do that. Go into lock screen and settings, then go into uh, information and face widgets and then click on face widgets. And you can, you can, you know, you have all those choices here that you could enable or disable depending on what you want. You can also change a bit of text that comes onto your lock screen. It's nothing really uh, useful, but you could just go ahead and you know, write your name. And when you activate your lock screen, you can see that the text appears right over there. The last one is probably one of the really interesting ones. There are some S Pen features that really help you to do a lot more with your Note 8 that no other phone can do, at least not with so much ease. So go ahead and add a few things like Bixby Vision, Magnification, Glance and Translate. These are extremely handy tools that you might need from time. For example, if you're looking at something that catches your attention, you want to know what it is. Uh, use your S Pen, tap on Bixby Vision, hover it over that object. Bixby will do its magic and tell you what it is. Similarly, for other things, you can just swipe the S Pen out and see what they do. So for example, translate and you're reading something that's not in your language. Uh, just tap on that word, hover on it, and it'll the, the device will translate it for you automatically. So that's it guys, those are some of the lesser known features or hidden features of the Galaxy Note 8 that I could really find. If you have anything uh, that you wanna let me know, leave them in the comment section below. Hope you really enjoyed the video, do leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys.